Oh, and uh, provided I've done this correctly, you should be watching me uh, as I'm giving my first impressions of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which unlocked on the PlayStation Store today. Uh, it was the first time I'd ever used uh, preloading for anything, so kind of the maddening wait watching the clock tick down to zero last night, but uh, as it happens I didn't get a chance to play it last night. So you'll see my live first impressions of whatever this is as we continue on. Let's take a sip of my Coke here before this starts. Okay, so what do I know about this game? I know this game is kind of... Um, I don't want to say horror, but I want to say there's some kind of psychological elements to this game from what I know, but there's a lot of puzzle solving. Um, but you as a character don't do much else bar walking. This is just the kind of... I've been keeping away from finding out about this game because I kind of want to have a fresh slate going in. But uh, I've heard it's very good. So let's start. Wow. Start as you mean to go on. Ethan Carter, I didn't know. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon, there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay, so I've controlled my character now. I do know that he's some sort of private detective or something like that. That, uh, obviously based on the game, his name, we, uh, have to investigate this Ethan Carter guy and where he's fucked off to. My well, first impression so far, this is a damn pretty game. Look at that. Holy shit. Okay, let's see what I can do. Shoulder... Oh. So, left trigger seems to... Zoom in. Circle to duck. Um, don't seem to be able to do much else. Look at that. I don't know if the like the, the quality of this image is coming through on the stream as well as it is like actually natively on the PS4, but god damn. This is a fucking good looking game. I had heard I think it was Marty Sleva on um IGN's podcast Beyond last week talking about this game, saying it was one of the most gorgeous games he'd ever played. Now he had played it on PC during its initial release last year, and I assumed it would be downscaled something fierce, and it probably is. But it still looks fucking beautiful. Look at that. Holy shit. This might just be like half an hour or an hour of me walking around looking at stuff and how pretty it is. The score so far are very nice and minimalist. It's not kind of beating you over the head. Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. 
Captain warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. My last case. I'm three days from retirement. It's always your last case. I just can't get over how good this game looks, like visually speaking. Right now, like it's not like I'm creeping along just to look at the kind of the, the prettiness. Um, even though I do want to do that. This is as fast as I can actually travel. I think. There doesn't seem to be any sort of, Oh! Snake the devil. R2. Sprint. I wouldn't have had high hopes for the train making it across that bridge anyway. I really like the score here. It's very creepy. Classic, uh, all is not what it seems music. So far impressions are good. This was, uh, the weird number of, I think, 17 euro and 7 cent on PSN. Um, it's a relatively small file to download. I want to say it's like three or four gigs only. So if you're kind of your bandwidth is a concern, this isn't the largest game you'll ever download. Certainly. And there's strangely enough for a PS4 game, there hasn't been a day one patch yet. Um, but hopefully this is unlike either one and won't require heavy patching. Hello. Yeah, sure is rope. A damsel in distress may have been tied to these train tracks back in 19 dickety six. Ew. Wow. Someone had a fucking shit day. Alright, mate. Okay, so, is there something I can do here? I don't appear to be able to move this circle around at all. I think that's all I can do really, is it? Oh wait, I see. So 
so you're able to open up different parts based on whatever you're looking at. That's pretty cool. Where was he going to? Straight off, they were, certainly weren't lying when they said this game doesn't hold your hand. And I like that. It's refreshing. So, what do we got here? Well, that looks like it's probably blood. Sort of killer where somebody went. I really, really like the atmosphere this game is creating so far. Like between the music, the kind of the quietness of the surroundings, the creaking you can hear there. Just ominous, you know? Like a gathering storm or... I think it's coming from What the fuck is this? Is that a fucking astronaut? What the fuck is going on? I'm in full control here, chasing Buzz Aldrin over here. Where's he gone? There he is. 